a virtual doctor service and uh, basically people download our app and then they uh, book a, an appointment and they see a doctor through a video meeting in their, in their phone or iPad. And uh, the idea came to life basically of the background of how painful it is to go to um, a doctor's surgery or a, a healthcare center and try to even get an appointment, getting through on the phone or whatever it might be, and then going there, waiting in the waiting room, feeling like you're getting even more ill from the other people who are there. Uh, and we said, why can't you just do it this way? How can we increase accessibility to healthcare? And this was uh, our solution. I think for any startup, it's only a big, huge amount of challenges that's, that's starting a, a company. Uh, but specifically for us, uh, of course, a lot of regulatory issues or reimbursement uh, problems, so like trying to get into the healthcare sector, uh, was quite specific compared to other startups we've founded before. Um, so really working out how can we become part of this ecosystem and working out a reimbursement model since uh, this is true for most of Europe that people don't pay out of pocket like we need to be part of the public funded healthcare and, and uh, achieving that and uh, creating the right partnerships and, and uh, sort of setting this up for us was um, challenging in the beginning quick access so it's uh, rather unique like we open at six in the morning it's open until midnight and 90% uh, of our patients wait less than 20 minutes to have their appointment and that kind of um, accessibility is really amazing compared to the regular healthcare system or any service really and I think this is what really wows our, our patients but it's also uh, like a nice product it's very easy to use and um, I think also people feel in control and compared to the sort of um, calling a healthcare centre, not even getting through, it's quite, you know, puts you off a little bit. Here it's like just that the tops of your fingers you can access a doctor and it's really easy. So we used to say that, or you know, the initial feedback was often that they enjoy the flexibility that they get to, through working from home or setting their own time so they, they can work in the morning or on Sundays and have Fridays off for the children or whatever it might be. But now when they motivate themselves why they want to work for us, the number one reason is to be part of changing the healthcare system, which is uh, feels awesome for us because all the rest of us also who work with this uh, company and uh, it's really about the idea like we want to do something really great and transform an industry uh, and the second reason for them for working for us is that they get to see a lot of patients so um, productivity is high with us and so you see a lot of patients in a day and they appreciate it so that's cool. I mean uh, on a higher level the like ends won't meet like we need more health care than we can afford to produce as taxpayers and uh, a lot of things need to change we also have very poor accessibility to our primary care in Sweden um, and there there needs to be big transformation access to primary care is important sometimes it's you know from tradition you say oh but if it's too easy to access they will be overused but actually people get ill when they can't seek care enough and at the moment it's people in rural areas or people who are quite you coming to Sweden etc et doesn't get care and like we want to address this problem and uh, obviously there's going to be a huge transformation within the healthcare industry from the digitalization and, and we're enjoying being part of that.